Namaste. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, today we are going to start with a short meditation. So um, settle on your seat in a comfortable manner. Let your legs just rest the way that it feels comfortable. For some of us, it's putting one foot in front of the other. For some of us, it's crossing one shin against the other. Sometimes you need to extend one leg and sit against a wall. Find the support that you need so you can um, find stillness and comfort for this short meditation. Invite your palms to connect to your thighs. And as you settle slowly, feel your leg bones releasing the weight down. Feel your pelvis also settle and invite your body to sit tall. Turning slowly the awareness to your own self. Invite your eyes to close. And today we'll try to bring body and breath to the simple experience of where you are in this moment. Take a deep inhale, a soft exhale, and slowly invite all your energies to come in alignment with your intention to turn inside. Try to sit tall and find also your inner posture, which is connecting mind and heart. Bridging that space where the mind usually goes out and in, which is where we come towards the state of meditation. No judgment. Let the thoughts arise. And if without judgment, you let the thoughts just arise, the mind eventually brings itself to its own ground, to inner presence and spaciousness that lives between all of your thoughts and feelings. Invite your physical body to soften through the skin and allow the breath to deepen so the energy within yourself also deepens. Deep inhale, slow exhale. Invite the tongue to rest on top of your bottom palate. Your face is soft, relaxed. The eyes reside back, we sit back heavily and your jaws drop. If the monkey mind starts to arise, let it, just watch how it arises, observe it, and whenever you exhale, just simply let it go. Stay grounded through the sitting bones sinking towards the ground, 
And each time you exhale, you feel more anchored into your sitting post seated posture. Allow yourself to feel the air moving into the rims of your nostrils, through the nose, moving into your body. And each time you breathe in, you let the spine lift upwards towards the crown of the head. Every time you exhale, you let your shoulder blades slide down naturally down your back, keeping the eyes soft. As you inhale, invite your chest to lift upward from the heart. When you breathe out, let the chest and the back of the chest widen. Then we'll invite one palm to rest right in front of the chest, in front of your heart. And one palm can go onto your belly or you can leave it on top of your thigh if you want. And as you breathe into your hands or hand, bring the intention for your practice this morning And then we'll silently repeat the mantra. And this mantra, I want you to try and repeat it while you move with your breath. So try to make the words flow with the tide of your breath. I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. We'll join the palms together in front of the altar of the heart. And sitting tall, if you choose to join, I'll open with the own sound, inhaling deeply through the nose. Big exhale. Then breathing in again. Oh. Then we connect head, hands, and heart together, the three at the center, releasing the palms, lifting the head, opening the eyes. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. Let's move on to practice. Okay, today we are going to start by coming onto our backs for a little moment. So come onto your back and just rest your whole body. Like if you're going to take Shavasana, release the legs, release your shoulders, and give yourself here a moment to scan your body. Any tingling, any throbbing, any pulses, any sensations. Yeah, we are starting yoga. And then from there, just feel the connection of your legs into the floor or your prop and see if you can notice if one side is heavier than the other or if it feels more pounded. Just notice and maybe you can even like feel if you feel like one leg is more turned out than the other. And then you can even lace your fingers, put your hands behind the head and just lift the head and look at your legs. And perhaps you can just take a quick check and see if the legs look as what you thought, okay? And then release that for a moment. Take your arms to the sides. Then, and wiggle a little bit through the legs. Good, and we're going to start the gentle exercise to start awakening our legs and our hips and our joints. So I'm going to put my feet on the mat 
And from there, I have my heels uh, behind my sitting bones, right? So more or less at the same uh, line. And I'm going to keep my arms out to the sides like a cactus shape or out to a D if you have the space. And what I'm going to do first is to let my right knee drop in towards the left foot and then return. It's very simple. And then again, left knee coming towards the right foot and then back to neutral. Now I'm not forcing the movement, I'm just letting the knee drop wherever it lands and I'm coming back. And then the opposite one and back. And again, one and the other slowly. Don't rush so you can sense differences between one side and the other. We are also slowly starting to open up the lateral hips, right? So you may feel depending on your activities a little bit more pull in the outer sides of your hips. Good, I'm going one more each side. Good, and then I'm coming back to neutral. From there, I'm going to bring both my knees towards my armpits. So it's like the child's pose, but upside down. Press the knees into the armpits for a moment, and then start creating circles with your feet, drawing with your toes, circles one way and the other, and also flexing and pointing your feet, your toes, to ignite their more flushing of the blood towards the rest of the body. Good, you can also rock a little bit if you want from side to side. And then I'm going to reset both my feet onto my mat and keeping my hands on top of my hip bones, right? That place that you can feel the, the bony part. I'm going to just press my right foot more firmly into the mat and send my right knee a little further forward. But I'm going to try to not lift my right butt, let's say so much, okay? So it's mainly pressing the foot and, and sliding my right knee forward and then I'm bringing it back. And then I'm doing the same with the left. Left foot pressing down, sliding my knee a little further to the top of my mat and back. It's tiny, okay? So don't think of something super big. I'm going with one leg and then the other. And then again, one knee and back. And with your fingertips on your hip bones, you can perhaps notice the movement there in your pelvis and maybe how one moves more than the other or slides more than the other, okay? One more each side I'm doing. Good, and then I'm going to release my arms to the sides, bring my feet a little wider than what they are, so more towards the sides of the mat. I'm going to drop both my knees to the right, extending my left arm up over my head. Then I'm coming back to center, Letting both knees drop to the left, extending my right arm up and back, and back to center. And again, both knees to the right, left arm extends. There's an arch there, a little bit more of a stretch on the side body, coming back. And then both knees to the left, right arm extends, back to center. One last time, both knees to the right, Left arm stretches over the head, back to center, both knees to the left, right arm lengthens, and back. Good, let's keep both feet there on the mat. Bring the laced fingers behind the head. Good, widen the elbows pressing into your mat and firm the shoulder blades behind the chest. And we'll do the cat cow here, so we inhale, Arching the spine, sending the chin up a little. Exhale, bring the belly button in, elbows towards one another and up. And again, inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, open up, feel that arch, exhale, 
Good. We'll add a little bit of core and twisting. Inhaling, we open again. Exhale, round. Bring both elbows towards the right. Back to center. Release, inhale. Exhale, come up. Belly in. Both elbows to the left. Back to center. Release, inhale. Exhale, over to the right, back to center. Release, last one, inhale. Exhale, up, belly in, go over to the left, back to center. Release, relax the arms to the sides, hug both knees into the chest and rock a little bit from side to side. Good, and before we come up, extend the legs, push through the heels, extend your arms overhead, catch opposite elbows, and lengthen through the sides, push through your inner heels, try to lengthen your lumbar so you feel more of a flat back onto the mat, and send those elbows away from your head, feel the toning of your legs here, one more breath. Exhale, release the arms, bend the knees, roll over to the side, and we'll press up to sit. Good, okay, from sitting here today, we are going to take a blanket. I'm going to put it on top of my mat so I can sit there. It's just folded the regular way, not super tall. And from here, once you come into your blanket, try to uh, sit all the way at the edge of that um, of that support and bring your hands behind. Roll the shoulders back and down, lift through the sternum, push through the center of your heels. And from here, we are going to try and hoist the uh, sternum up as you take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhaling through the nose. We try to create more space in the body. Inhale again, lift through the sternum, send the shoulder blades down. One last breath, activate your legs, hug the muscles to the bones. Good, and we release. Now I'm going to cross right shin in front of the left. I'm going to put both my feet under my knees and we are going to add some stretches here today, okay? From here, I'm going to walk my hands forward. I want you to imagine, or try to more than imagine, that you can lengthen your whole abdomen and torso over your legs. So you really lengthen the front spine as far as you can go. If you need to add blankets, block, um, blocks, or uh, pillows, or anything in front, you can add it for your hands, for your forehead, whatever you want to add there, okay? Try to uh, breathe and distribute that air into your hips, your lower back. Lengthen through the arms, relax the head. And feel that stretch perhaps also in the outer hips, lower back, lengthening the front. One more breath. Then we slowly walk back with the hands and we are going to put the elbows to press into the shins. Now, if this is not uh, available uh, to do without support, you just put one or two blocks in front and you can put your uh, forearms there and press into your shins, okay? So we are going to press there, lift the sternum, send the shoulders back. Imagine like you're doing the cow pose, right? Like the cat cow, we lift, 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 lift through the center of the chest. And we breathe into that area, bringing the lumbars in, lengthening the sides. Good, let's add a side opening here. We move over now towards the right for you guys. I'm going to lift my abdomen and drag my belly button over the right side. And then when I get to as far as I can go, I'm going to release there. And this is an opportunity to breathe into your left side. So try and breathe onto your left side as much as you can. Good. 
Good, then we slowly walk back through the center. We go over to the left. And once I get to the left side, again, same idea. I'm going to lift the abdomen, try to drag the belly button over to the left and come over as far as it goes, okay? One side will be different than the other. Don't push. Breathe into that side. Now we are breathing into the right side. Nice. Then we slowly come back. Good. And we come up to sit. Don't change the legs yet. I'm going to show you a little trick, a different one that we didn't do before. So now, for some of you, you may need to have a block close by to use it. I'm going to show both versions, block and without, okay? I'm going to put my right elbow down on the floor or the mat if you have it in front. But for some of us, like I said, it might not be available. So you can use a block like I'm doing, okay? Now the idea is to bring that elbow as far as you can from your knee, right? Or from, from your same side knee. And then you're going to use your hand to release your head there and support it. So your neck should not be tense, okay? I'm resting my head onto my hand. Opposite hand, so either like this or with block, okay? Opposite hand will go to the opposite knee or to the floor, and I'm going to use that to help me twist over to the left, okay? So now what I'm doing is a twist with a little bit of help, and this position is helping me or it's forcing me to open up my chest and my belly more, and the pelvis is more settled, right? More neutral. So I'm going here and I'm breathing, trying to push my left knee with my hand, opening the chest there over to the left. One more breath. Good, then we slowly come back, press up, and we'll switch sides. I'm putting my left elbow down either to the uh, floor or I'm gonna show the second version, or the block, I'm putting that elbow as far as I can go, my hand is supporting my head, opposite hand to the floor or my knee, and then I'm going to press a little bit my hand to the knee so it helps me create that twist. You may even feel it in your outer hips, that's normal because this is also a hip opener, okay? So I'm trying to bring belly, dragging it up towards the ceiling, Breathing in and out through the nose, try to soften the face and let the head be supported by your hand. Good, then we come back to center, press up to a seat. Good, move your props, extend the legs, shake them a little. Good, bring your hands behind, roll the shoulders back and again, lift through the spine, extend through the legs, press the thighs down. Breathing. I am loving awareness. Take notice of your body, of the thoughts arising, and let the mind settle, okay? Good, we switch sides. Now I'm going to cross the um, opposite leg. So first we cross the right, now we cross the left one in front, and we sit tall. And again, I'm going to try and put my feet under my knees like I did before. One more time, I'm going to extend my arms over the legs, lengthen the torso over and release. Relax the head, soften the face. Slowly walk back, put those elbows to be hooked in front of your shins, lift through the spine, roll the shoulders back. Good, and from there we are going to sit up. This time I'm going to bring my hands, arms behind me, lace your fingers, roll the shoulders back, extend through the arms and lift through the crown of the head. Draw from the pelvic floor, up, up, up towards the chest, up towards the throat, crown of the head and further up. We lift, 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 one more breath. Good, and then we release the arms, re-extend the legs, shake them a little. Good, bend the knees so we can get out of these. We're going to move the blanket and I'm going to take my um, belt 
and I'm going to make a loop that it's hip distance apart or a little wider, okay? Let's come to standing. We are going to make ourselves uh, be hooked by the bell. So I got in with both my legs and I'm putting my uh, belt hip distance apart. I'm going to say two, three inches right below my hip. So it's kind of like at the top of my thighs, okay? It's not in the middle, it's at the top of my thighs. And I have, like, you can see a little bit of space in between, okay? So it's not that it's extremely tight. That's it. From there, I'm going to come into my hands and knees position. Keep that belt where it is. And press, uh, place your hand so you can uh, go up to downward facing dog. So I'm going to turn my fingertips out towards the sides of my mat. I'm going to push through the base of my thumbs. I'm going to move my knees a few inches behind my hips. And try and bring your feet as wide as possible and then push up towards the skies with your hands. And of course, we are trying to break into that belt. So I'm using it as a reference. And I'm using that to firm my pelvis and give it more stability also into the lower back. So lengthen through the sides, relax the head. First, foundation so press into your hands feel the position of your hands grip the mat with your fingertips and then slowly press one heel down at the time to open up the backs of the legs and after you do that a few times both center of your heels go down to the earth we leave the pelvic floor and we try to make the chest come a little closer to your thighs. Take a deep inhalation here. And exhale. See if you can lift your toes. So we activate those arches a little more. Spread through the toes. And try to keep them with space in between, okay? Before you bring them down. Good. One more breath. And then slowly bring your knees down. Good. We are going to come up to standing one more time because I want you to move that bell and bring it a little lower. Now, yes, I'm going to put it more like halfway in between my hips and my knees, and I'm going to make the bell a tiny bit tighter than before. So a little tighter than before. I'm hooking, right? I still have a little bit of space in between my legs, but it's a little tighter than before. And now I have it more in the halfway, right, in the middle. And again, I'm going to come onto my hands and knees once I'm there. Again, I'm going to place my hands for my down dog and I'm going to go back up with my feet hip distance apart or a little narrower than before. And I'm going to try and break into that belt with my legs, send the chest into the tops of your thighs, press the mat away, Press through the center of your heels and send that uh, coccyx up, up, up towards the skies. Take a deep inhalation here. Firm the shoulder blades behind the chest. Draw the pelvic floor up. One more breath. Good. Then walk your hands back to your feet. From there, put your hands on your hips. Lift halfway, roll the shoulders back, inhale. Stay there, press through your heels and come all the way up to standing. Nice, release the arms, release your uh, belt from there, take it out to the side. Good, touch your block, <laughs> put it in between your upper thighs, hug the block in like we usually do. Take the sacrum towards the block, hug the block with both inner thighs, firm the hips, inhaling, arms up overhead, lace the fingers, press your palms up, 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 extend through the wrists, the base of your fingers, lengthen the sides from the waistline up, and draw the navel up to your nose. Good, exhale, release. We go one more time, inhaling, arms up overhead, lace fingers, extend through the index fingers, this time up to the ceiling, press through the center of the heels, lift the inner arches, inhale here, 
Exhale till to your left, so you can open the right side first. Draw the belly up, the chest to the skies. Push through the heels to come up, and we go the other way. Back up to center. Good, exhale, release the arms. Let's go back up again, inhale. Good, again, lace your fingers, put the index pointing up. If you had one thumb on top of the other, switch that. Extend again, inhale. Exhale, tilt to your left. Hug that block. Send your sacrum down to your heels. Back up. Last side. Back to center. Exhale, release, beautiful. Let's take the block out, come to the top of your mat, feet together, inhaling, arms up overhead. Press through the center of your heels and draw the, the inner thighs in, okay? Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhaling, halfway we lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, walk back, downward facing dog. Now imagine you have the belt like we used before. So you're using that belt to help you lift the sitting bone up, grounding through the heels. And imagine you have that belt to break into it outside your thighs, right? So you want to create that same action. Good, from there, let's inhale into plank. Push through the heels, push the mat away. Knees, chest, chin is an option here or all the way down. Inhaling, cobra pose, lengthen the sacrum, open the chest. Exhale, tuck your toes, up we go, downward facing dog. Deep inhale here, draw the abdomen up, release the head. Good, and again we go, inhaling, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Tuck your toes. Up we go, downward facing dog. One more breath. Good. Bend the knees. Gaze forward. Step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat. Press through the heels, inhale, bring the arms up, palms touch. Exhale to center, and we release. Beautiful. From here, I want us to have a blanket again. You're going to put it as a support for your knees, and we are going to do uh, a posture that helps a lot with opening groins and hips, and also upper body. Now for this one, you may need a block. So have a block close by and I'll show you how. Okay, we're going to start with the right knee pressing into your blankie. So you have padded, uh, a padded knee there. You can tuck your back toes. And this is the challenge now. I'm going to bring the left leg in front and watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my foot in front of the opposite knee and try to have my knee, my opposite knee down. This won't happen like this for all of you, so I'm going to show you a different version, but watch this first. I'm pressing my left heel into my right thigh, and I'm tucking my toes, and they are pushing into each other, so it helps me stay grounded, right, and I'm not falling. And my opposite knee is down, but for some of us, that knee won't come all the way down, and that's why you may want to maybe add a block. I'm gonna show the, the second version, okay? Like this or medium. Maybe you need to put your knee like that and then you feel more stable, okay? That's it. <laughs> Good. Once you find that this will open the pelvis, hug the glutes into one another and pressing into the base of my toes, right? Into the base of my foot and I'm pushing the heel into my thigh and also away from my body towards the right. And then from there, as I hug my glutes in and I feel that opening in the groin, I'm going to send the arms up overhead. Beautiful. 
Then exhale and bring the right arm on top of the left one and take the eagle arms. Good, we are going to stay here. Don't go super high. Just bring the elbows a little bit high. Breathe into the upper back. Keep hugging your glutes in. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Soften your jaws. One more breath. Good, then inhale, arms up. Good, exhale, touch down in front of you. And we are going to switch. I'm going to put my left knee down. You can tuck or untuck your back toes. And now I'm going with the opposite side. So I'm going to put the right foot right in front of my left knee and tucking my toes and pressing my heel into my thigh. And if my knee is able to touch down, I'm going to let it touch down more or less at the same line of my uh, opposite knee, okay? If you need the knee, uh, the knee holder, <laughs> if you need the block there, you're gonna put a block or any height that you need to hold yourself a little higher, okay? Engineer the situation, it's okay. You're gonna make it happen and it's all good. It's not like, a <laughs> it's okay if you have to modify a lot, okay? Good, now from here, I feel the opening on my opposite groin. I'm pressing through my toes. I'm trying to push that heel into my thigh, thigh into the heel. Squeeze those glutes in. Inhale, arms up, overhead. Exhale, now bring your opposite arm. It's your left on top of the right and hook the arms like the eagle shape. Take a deep breath in here. Opening the upper back. Draw the belly button up towards your chest. Relax your jaws and tongue. Good, then inhale, arms up. Beautiful, you made it. Exhale, put the hands down. Take that front leg in and move that blankie out. We're going to go back to downward facing dog. I'm going to switch. Good, up to down dog we go. Push through the hands to lift that sacrum up. Draw the belly up. Good, let's inhale, right leg up and back. Right knee comes to the chest, plank pose. Lift that knee a little higher, push the mat. Again, inhale, right leg up and back. Right foot forward. We are going to turn the back foot down and we are going to come up warrior two. Good. If you need blocks close by, put them because we are going to maybe use them, okay? Good. Warrior two on the right side. I'm dropping my right hip. I'm toning my back leg. I'm drawing my front spine up and I'm extending the arms here for a moment. Good. Beautiful. Let's open the side body, inhaling, left hand to the belly, right arm over. Exhale, switch sides, right hand to the belly, left arm up. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one. Good, now we come back to the warrior two. And two options, you're either going to choose in front of your right leg or behind the right leg. We are going to take the side angle. So if you want the hand, the arm in front, you're going to push the arm into the leg so it doesn't come forward. If you have your hand behind, you're going to push the leg into the arm so it doesn't uh, collapse, okay? Either or, we are going to send the left arm up over the head, push that arm into leg, leg into arm, Drop your right sitting bone, spin belly and chest up towards the ceiling. Extend, extend, extend through that left arm. Push into the back foot, outer edge. Stability through the legs. One more breath. Good, press through your feet to come up. Straighten the front leg, beautiful. Let's go from here. I'm going to lengthen again. This time I'm coming towards the triangle. If you need the back foot to come a little closer, do that. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. And we go into that block or the shin for a triangle pose. 
Now today in this triangle, I want you to gaze down towards your right big toe and spin the belly and chest up. Send the shoulder blades behind the heart. Keep lifting through the left fingertips to lift up the heart, okay? Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes. <laughs> One more breath. Good, and bring both your hands down. Back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Lower. Cobra pose. Release. Back up we go, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. And we go into the second side. Left leg goes up and back. Left knee to chest. Lift that knee plank pose. Left leg goes up and back. Left foot forward, right foot comes down. We are taking the warrior two on the second side. Good, from here, drop the left sitting bone. Lift the sides of your torso. Press into the back foot. Good, let's go three times with that opening of the sides. Inhale, right hand to belly, left arm up. Exhale, switch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back to the warrior two. Beautiful, now pick where you want to go. If you want to go in front or behind your version, just push the arm into leg and leg into arm so they don't collapse. Spin the chest up towards the skies, bring the right arm over, push into the back foot by lifting the inner arch and letting that left hip drop. Squeeze the hips into one another, glutes are active. Spin that belly button up, 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 up. Good, push through your feet. Come up, straighten the front leg, bring the back foot a little closer, and we lengthen into the triangle. Go far, slow, far, slow, far, 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 until you get to your shin, block, anything, coffee table maybe, gaze down, press into the left big toe, and even though the neck is turned down, you want to spin the fibers of your belly from left to right, left shoulder back, chest lifting through those right fingertips. Two more breaths. Good, then bring that right hand down, back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank, lower, all the way up we go. Exhale, tuck your toes, down dog. Come down into child's pose. And let's take one minute here to rest. Just checking. Okay, good. Beautiful, take a few moments. Good, one more breath. Notice what's going on, the thoughts, the breath. You can always let those things come up to the surface and in time, let the mind settle down to the heart in loving awareness. Good, then we slowly sit up. I want you to take again your blankie and you're going to try and make a, a sushi roll. So you're going to do a roll, not all the way to the end, but I'm going to try and do, I'm going to say half, and I'm going to make it as compact as I can. Okay, once I have my halfway roll, I'm going to be on my knees for a moment, so you may want extra padding, and I'm going to put that roll 
right behind my knees all the way until it touches the backs of my knees, okay? And then from there, I'm going to sit back. This one is not a great job because it opened up. So what I'm going to do is to open it up a little bigger. I want you to try and have it as compacted as you can so you can really feel it in that crease of the knees. And then I'm going from there. Sometimes I come a little further forward like I'm doing now. Good. And then I'm sitting back. If you need a block in between your heels, add the block in between the heels, okay? If you are okay here, try to bear with it. This is super, super good for sciatic nerve pain, for lower back pain, and it goes into the whole lower back, okay? So we are going to try and keep the hands onto the thighs, relax the shoulders, lift through the front spine, take a few deep breaths. Try to rest your tongue at the bottom of your mouth. Visualize your ears becoming heavy over the shoulders and relax the skin in the face. A few more breaths. One more. Good, then slowly bring your hands over. Take that blankie out. You may need it again for the next thing, but from here we are going to re-extend into downward facing dog. Push the sitting bones up, up, up. Draw the pelvic floor up. Good, let's inhale, right leg up and back. And this time I'm going to bring my right knee behind the right wrist for the pigeon shape. I'm going to give you a few um, pointers for this, okay? So my shin, my right shin, I'm not making it completely parallel to the front of the mat. That's a little bit too demanding. So I have my shin turned in. Let's see if I can show you. But you see, it's like the foot is more turned in, okay? Towards my left groin. So that's number one. Number two, I want to check that my left leg, the heel and the hip are in the same line. So heel and hip in the same line, and then I'm extending that leg, and you can keep the back toes tap or untap. That's your choice, okay? Now send your right hip back, push it a little bit back, lift through the spine. I'm using my hands on my sticky, but you can put blanket or blocks if you need more height, okay? Lift, 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 lift here. And then you're going to either add blocks or nothing if you don't need to just bring your forearms down, okay? Maybe blocks, maybe pillows, maybe nothing. <laughs> Stay here for a moment. Softening the face. Good. I'm going to add an extra challenge to this. It's not mandatory, okay? I'm going to show you, and if you want, you add this or not. Remember in the beginning of the class when I showed you this little trick of putting the elbow down and holding the head so we could uh, twist? So we are going to try that if you want. I'm putting my right elbow first out. I'm putting my hand onto my head, and with my left hand, I'm pressing into the left side of my sticky, and trying to twist a little bit over to the left, okay? You may feel it a little bit more in the hips, okay? So go easy, gradually. If this feels like it's too much, stay where you are or the place where you were before, okay? Breathe in and out. Good, then slowly coming back. I'm going to switch sides. Now I'm going to put my left elbow in front, head supported again, and if you can, you press with the right hand either onto your knee, thigh, or the floor, the sticky, and you twist a little bit over to the right. You're gonna feel that pull, okay? The outer hip, IT band, hamstring, so go easy. This is a little trick to enhance more opening and stretching in the hips, in the lower back. 
and we are also adding the twist. Good, back to center because we don't have a lot of time left and slowly tuck your back toes, lift that right leg back, pedal your feet a few times, reawaken that right leg. Good, second last side, left leg goes up, left knee comes behind the left wrist. I'm keeping my left shin turned in instead of bringing it all the way out. I'm extending my right leg, but I'm checking with my eyes that my heel and my sitting bone, they are more or less in the same line, okay? I want one straight line there. You can keep the toes up or untuck the toes. Good, then with your hands, lift the front spine, side body lifting up to the armpits, shoulder blades down. Send the left hip back a little and lengthen your sacrum. Okay, the sacral muscles, the lower back, make them long towards the earth as you lift off of that. Good, then forearms coming to the mat. Stay there for a few breaths. One more. Good, and now I'm going to add left elbow, pressing into my sticky, I'm holding my head, and with my right hand, I'm helping myself twist a little bit over to the right. This, this part of the, the sequence, you don't have to do it if it feels too much, okay? I'm just lengthening and trying to add a little bit of a twist. It's pulling a little bit more from the left outer hip, so you may feel it a little bit more burny there or tingly. Good, then I'm going to switch, coming to the opposite side, right elbow down, hand supports my head. And then from there with my left hand, either onto the left knee or thigh or the sticky mat, I'm going to push a little bit to twist. Good, back to center. Press into your hands, tuck your back toes. One last time, we go to downward facing dog. Send the sitting bones up towards the sky. Draw the lower belly up. Good. And then slowly bring the knees down and cross or bring the legs in front of you for a moment. Good. Sit tall. We are almost there at the end. <laughs> I'm going a little quicker. Good. Uh, sit tall from here, push through the heels. If you need your strap, take the strap with you. We are going to activate the legs a lot. You want to ground through the thighs. And remember in the beginning when we hug the block, so I want you to imagine you're hugging the block in between your thighs and sending the block down to your sticky mat, okay? From there, I'm going to lift through the sternum. It's like a back bend with my lower back going in and then I'm folding and maybe catching the feet or you use the belt and you pull there so you can lift the front, send the shoulders back, draw the lower belly up and then fold. Remember, inner thighs down, hug them into one another, lengthen and lift the heart first. Two more breaths. Good, and slowly return to the seat. Good, let's move back onto our backs. And I'm going to ask you to cross your right shin in front of the left one. Bring both feet towards you. And breathe a couple of times here to settle your lower back and relax the skull down. Yeah, then slowly switch, left shin on top of the right one, hug both feet in. Good, and then slowly release that. Keep both knees close to the chest, open the arms like a cactus shape and bring both knees over to the right. You can bring the chin to the left. Good, 
then back to center short twist and then if you need to shift the hips over to the right before coming to the left do so bring both knees over to the left chin to the right stay there for another breath yeah. and then slowly return this is the time to come into a supported inversion with the legs up a wall if you have the wall there or a mantle or a dresser or the back of a bed you can use that too um, or if not just come towards shavasana because today we don't have a lot of time left um, and i want you to rest okay so find the, the place where you can feel comfortable, relaxed, and um, supported, right, to end the practice. We move towards rest. And we rest in calm awareness. The head slowly returning heavily to earth imagine you're melting like butter let go of your ankles your feet your knees your calf muscles your hamstrings your buttocks Receive a deep inhalation through the nose, big exhale through the mouth. Keep your face soft, your eyes relaxed. And then slowly start inviting movement through the fingers, toes, the areas in your body that you feel appropriate or naturally compelled to start moving again. If you're choosing to stay in the shape you are until the very end, that's absolutely fine. Keep your eyes soft, your face also kind, relaxed. And if you're choosing to move towards a seat, please come towards slowly your side first and then press up. As you find your seat, Try to, again, find that connection through your base into earth and the rise through the spine, the crown of the head, softening the skin. 
bringing the hands together to the heart. Take a moment here to follow the movement of your breath with awareness. Wherever it goes in your body, follow the breath there. We rest in loving awareness. In gratitude for this practice and to all of you for joining me today. Let's close with the Om sound one time, inhaling first. Big exhale, then breathing in again. Om. Namaste.